your potential as a visual communicator. Um, to give you some context of who I am and what I do, I drew you this little picture. So this is me <laughs> and all the professional titles I have. So I'm a graphic recorder, that's what you probably saw throughout the conference. I'm participating in meetings, in events, in conferences. There I am the pen and the ears of the group, so it's all about the listening, it's all about taking in information, clustering it in real time and then putting it on a board, on a piece of paper and produce a visual rep representation, documentation of the event. And how does all of that relate to the topic of this conference, to global pandemonium? So for me, global pandemonium is very related to a, another terminology that you might be familiar with, um, to the so-called VUCA world. Have you heard about it? Who in the room knows about VUCA world? One or two hands? Okay, then I'm going to explain it. So it means, it's actually a very old terminology. It's already been introduced in the 1970s by US Army to describe the state of the world after the Cold War. And it means a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world, right? And the UCA part of it is nothing new. So always, in times of change, it's uncertain, it's complex, it's ambiguous. You leave the old situation, you move into something new, and you haven't really left the old yet, and haven't really arrived in the new yet, so you're kind of in this space in between. And in this space, it's very uka. It's uncertain, it's complex, and it's ambiguous. And the new part, I think, is really the V, the volatility, the speed, in which uh, the speed at which change happens. Um, so back in the days, I might say, um, you went through a change process, and then the process was done, and you could rest a little, you could harvest the fruits of success, Nowadays, you go through a change process, and I see it a lot working with businesses. And as soon as you, as it seems they have finished the first change, the second one has already started, and the third. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. And this is part of the pandemonium that we experience, I think. I would um, ask you to raise your hands. Who of you in this room thinks he or she is creative? Come on, I'm the only one? No. <laughs> okay, so there are a couple of hands. So then the more tricky question is, who of you thinks he or she can draw? <laughs> oh, there is. Okay, some, some friends there, yeah. Okay, so um, we will touch upon the basics, I think. Um, and at the same time, I really want to communicate for the first time a very important message what we're going to do today, and, and the, thing, uh, the, the things I speak about, um, they have nothing to do with art. So I'm not an artist, not at all. What I do is I create value for my business clients. Right? And that's a totally different approach. And for me, it's really about pen and paper as a tool for communication and creativity. And it's not about art. We will, I will repeat it. And <laughs> What we're going to experience in the next 40 minutes. Um, I chose the metaphor of a sea voyage. And as you can see, my boat is a pen like this. <laughs> and on one hand, or in the first step, we will go to a place where we all have been. We will talk about what we already know, right? We all drew as children, we will see that. We will touch upon this topic. <coughs> then, my hope is to let you experience your potential as a visual communicator in the here and now. And as a third part... Oh, he has no head. Here he is. <laughs> um, I also want to give you a little more of an outlook. So, as a, my educated guess as a, profe uh, as a professional and as a practitioner, so where is this whole field of handmade visual communication and visualization going to? 